Well, I'm meteorologist Vin Crosby from The Weather Show with Vin Crosby here on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in, and I want to give you an update on the winter weather that we're going to experience, and it will bring us a white Christmas, and some of us will get a substantial amount of snow in the Treasure Valley. All right, the way things are shaking down is a system will move on in from the west. Like I mentioned in my previous broadcast, it is a weak system, but some of the weaker systems this time of year bring us the most snow, or at least more than what the models will forecast. We are on one of those lines, though, a fine line across the Treasure Valley where it will be rain or snow, but I think most of it will be in the form of snow. And if it does go over rain, it will change back to snow and become very slick overnight, Sunday night, going on in towards the early stages of the day on Christmas Eve day itself. So that's what we got to look out for for some slick travel conditions. The heaviest snows will be up in northeast Oregon, back in the west central mountains, and I have some tremendous snow totals for you uh, up around the Brundage area. But bogus, you're going to get into the Act 2. Tamarack uh, looking pretty good. So here we go. Let's break down the snow total forecast, and it really paints a picture of just where the heavier amounts will be. It really is going to be north and east of Interstate 80. When it comes down to Treasure Valley locations, especially Ada and Canyon County, I think anywhere west and south of I 84, lighter snow amounts, a better chance of changing to rain. Anywhere east and north of Interstate 84, that's where we should see most of it stay snow. So your forecast totals look like this. So I think around the Boise area, we'll have a dusting to an inch of snow coming into around noon on Sunday, then one to two inches of snow possible going in through the evening hours of Sunday night and then overnight we should see an increase in precipitation and a little bit more snow which will bring us to around two to four inches for the snow depth forecast going in towards 7 a.m. on Monday morning as we go further to the west I think we'll see a little bit less snow but Meridian uh, you'll get into the dusting to an inch by Sunday noon 6 p.m. around one inch and then one to three inches total by 7 a.m. on Monday morning and then you can see how we go further west there's a little bit more chance of rain mixing in and a little less on the way of snow amounts but I still think that we'll see a dusting to an inch on and off throughout the day on Sunday and then overnight Sunday night and a Monday morning one to two inches of snow will be possible across the region. Uh, moving right along up into the mountains, we're looking for Brundage to be the big winner, I think, out of this storm system. Two to four inches possible during the day on Sunday. Five to ten possible Sunday night for a total of five to 14 inches of snow going on in towards Monday morning. Uh, Bogus Basin, not too bad. You're going to like the freshies. One to three inches of snow on Sunday. Two to five possible Sunday night. A total of three to eight inches total going on into Monday morning. And keep in mind, Idaho City back down into the foothills of Boise. you get into some of those snow totals as well. Tamarack up there on the West Central Mountains doing a little bit better. Uh, just a tad lower than what Brundage will get, but still nice. One to three inches on Sunday. Four to eight inches Sunday night. Four to 11 inches total by Monday Monday morning. All right, if you're traveling on the roadways, Interstate uh, 84 will become very slick Sunday night, uh, 95, 55, going all across the Columbia River Gorge, back across towards Portland, very slick conditions. And then in the long-range forecast, still looking for a big storm system to come barreling in along central western areas of Oregon, all down through northern California, going down in towards Nevada. This going on uh, looks like late in the day on Monday, going in towards Monday night, in through Christmas morning. Very treacherous travel over Donner Pass, heavy snow amounts there, so watch out if you're traveling going in towards Christmas Day itself, especially west and south of the Gem State. As far as our snow goes for Christmas Day, uh, we'll have cold enough air in place. We should see some fog. We may have to tap into Rudolph there going into Christmas Eve for the foggy conditions. But overall, it looks like we are going to get some snow. It's going to be cold. Uh, and then there's going to be a colder air mass that moves on in over the next couple of days, bringing yet another good chance for some snow to the Treasure Valley. So that's the way it shakes down now. That's the latest. I'm going to go try to get some rest. Most people, when they can't sleep at night, they get up, maybe have some food. When we watch some TV, I do some weather forecasting. So I'm going to go grab some rest, and uh, hopefully we'll get you back here with another update going on in throughout the day on Christmas Eve day and tomorrow night's going on, or tonight going on into Sunday morning.